Hello friends, how are you all? I am your friend and today we will learn about germination of seeds. Plants start their lives as small seeds. These can be as small as a grain of salt or larger than your fingernail. Some are round, some are flat, or some are tear shaped. To understand more about the process of germination, let's first see the parts of the seed. The outside of the seed has a coat. Aww, not this one, buddy. And it acts as a protection for the embryo to make sure it's guarded. Some seeds have soft seed coats, and some have hard. The inside of a seed has four important parts. They are... The epicotyl. These are parts of the seed that become the first leaves of a plant. The hypocotyl is the stem of the plant. The radical, it is the first root the plant has. The cotyledon, it is the inner protective layer of the seed that sucks food for the seed. Shh, the seed is in a dormant state. Seeds remain inactive or dormant until conditions are right for germination. These are the conditions for germination of the seeds. Some seeds need light to germinate, others need darkness. But all the seeds need oxygen, moisture, the correct temperature in order to germinate. Once the conditions are appropriate, the plant inside starts to grow. Yes, very good buddy! It is important to keep the soil watered, so that the soil surface never dries out, but remains constantly moist. Aww, look closely. When the seed is full enough, it pops open. The first parts of the seed to come through the seed coat are the cotyledon and the root, or the radical. The root takes hold of the soil and starts to consume food from the soil. But because it's still so tiny, the cotyledon is still the main source of food. The hypocotyl continues to grow upward with the epicotyl, and thus the epicotyl becomes the first leaves of the new plant. By the time the epicotyl are showing, the plant is now above the ground. When this happens, the cotyledon fall off the plant and become part of the soil because their work is complete. Once the cotyledon are gone, the plant's tiny leaves take over the job of supplying food to the new plant. And that is a process called germination. Germination is the phase of plant growth when the seed begins to sprout. Now you know a lot about germination of seeds. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye bye!